in my case, I just did it out of necessity because I was interested in in pursuing certain inventions that I had. So I've always been kind of inventive throughout my my history, and you know, I'd see a problem and figure out, oh, you know, hey, here's a better way to do something. And so, being inventive. So when I was at MIT, I came up with this idea for an optical mouse because I thought it'd be a better, more reliable device than the mechanical mice that we had, which uh, were constantly breaking. And so I uh, designed and then built uh, a, a, um, a, an optical mouse and did all the electronics and all the software uh, for it. And uh, so that was, and then I found that, OK, people like the idea, uh, but I couldn't interest a company to build it. So I ended up, when I left school, ended up creating a company to, uh, to do that. Did you have to go out and raise money? Well, I had money saved. I had uh, $40,000 that I had just saved over the years. And so I used that to, to fund, fund the company. Didn't realize that that doesn't go very far, you know. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you're, um, there's the, the old saying that only mediocre people start companies because the smart people really know better. <laughs> um, I grew up here, right? So foreign, California was not foreign to me. And when I was looking for a job out of college, I ended up finding the offer from Rome to be the most attractive. And of course, Rome was not too far away from here. And so I moved here and have been here ever since. Okay. What happened with Mouse? Well, so Mouse Systems, I, um, I was here for many years. And then. Uh, I ran across a gentleman, uh, Charles Corfield, who had written this desktop publishing prototype application and uh, was intrigued by that. And Interleaf was very successful at the time and uh, ended up starting a company to pursue his invention. And uh, that ultimately became uh, extremely successful. Well, that, was that was frame technology. Frame. 